Okay, today we're at the Polson Cemetery in Point Vernon, Harvey Bay. Again, it's very windy, I'm sorry. Let's see how we go. I'm just in this little nook here, and it's in memory of our return servicemen. Just have a little... Yes, John's lost me. I said I was just going to be in this little nook. This cemetery um, is the home for a lot of kangaroos and there's big signs everywhere. That's what you're walking on. Yeah, I'm being very careful. So we've got a big lawn cemetery on this side. These look quite recent along here. We'll try to find some older, older graves, which looks like over there. How pretty is that? They're not old, but pretty. And once again, we're doing a cemetery walk you and it's starting to rain again and, and the sun's out at the same time but it's coming down heavy so we're going to just go and sit in the car for a little bit i think it's not going to blow over yeah i think so we'll go and have a sit and we'll make our way back out stanley edward johnson died in march 1st 1918 aged two years 10 months our dear husband and father jacob don't know, died 26th of December 1916. Loving memory of Elizabeth Thompson who departed this life 23rd of July 1915, aged 81 years and four months. And John Thompson died September 4th, 1917, aged 76 years at rest. This is um, in memory of Emma Thompson, died 8th of August 1914. Also, Frederick Thompson Tooth died at 11th of March 1947. And Charlotte Newman Tooth died 17th of August 1951. Now, the street before the street we're on is called Tooth Street. G.S. Scalgill, 14 Field Company Engineers, 31st of December 1945. His duty nobly done. This headstone looks like it's fallen down. My dear husband, Albert Lilly, who departed this life April 12th. Oh, 21st maybe, 1905, aged 41 years, at rest. Also, Amy Jane Lilly died 10th of June, 1923, aged 60. Also, VF Low killed aircraft accident in England, 19th of the 9th, 43. This grave here belongs to Charles Polson. And it's after him that this cemetery was named because he actually owned this land. Mr. Polson was a bank manager and he used to stay at the Pialba Hotel. He'd like to sit under the Morton Bay Fix down um, on the road that's Beach Road and the Esplanade. And he watched the logs being unpacked from the wagons. One day his body was found there and so they buried him there. But later on they brought his remains to this land and buried him and that was the start of Polson Cemetery. This is a new park for an old death. Albert William Messer born UK 16th, 16th of September 1859 died Australia 22nd of July 1889 aged 29 years. This is a busy cemetery so many people visit Yeah, I tried to that, get that one. Record by his wife. Walter Grinstead, born 1860 and died 1930. Rupert, Reuben and Agnes Wood. Although these people aren't in the 1800s, it's just a beautiful headstone. Close enough.
Lily Burroughs Burt died 17th of June 1934, aged 22 years, 7 months, sleep beloved. Well, those ones are kind of blue. We'll go and have a look at the blue ones. A lot of these headstones have been redone, John. Haven't yeah. they? If it's their family or yeah. Oh my God! Look at this one, John. What's look at this. Like but look at the shape of it. The shape of the oh my goodness! Someone's come and stolen the casket out of there. Oh, that's so scary. <sighs> Ernest Magnus Wath died 12th of August 1954. God's will be done. Lovingly remembered by his wife, that Annie. Is pretty much that is, I know. Can you guys see that? It's, oh, whoa. John's just fixing the vase up there. Accidentally killed, John. 18th of November, 1959, aged 22 years. Listen to the poem. You left home with a smiling face, not dreaming death was near. Not thinking you would never return to the ones who loved you dear. It is hard to think you had to die and bid goodbye to none. But you left behind a beautiful memory of things you have said and done. Always remembered by his loving father, mother, brothers and sisters. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at this one. It's just a flat piece of cement. J.H. McCallum, 1959. And this one here, it's just got a name, Ernest Hoy and Dad. No details. John's noticed that there is so many ex-servicemen um, grave sites here. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Look, same, same, but different. It's all cracked. No, the other one was done with body in the street with body coffin. That's awful. Here's another tooth. So there was a tooth street we went down before. Amy Indeed, tooth. Yeah. There. This is the one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's no details of it, though. Look at this one, it's a it's a ex serviceman. Edwin Charles Milliken Milligan. It's an ex serviceman here. Another one. So that one that I just read you your poem of, that was there. And I'm thinking there's a blue grave right behind him, same surname. Two beautiful people laid to rest. For each of us they did their best, forever in our hearts. John 11:26. Jesus said, Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Next service lady. Some of these graves look incredibly old, but they're actually not. Look at that huge I one. Buried, is that buried under the ground or above the ground? I don't know. I think they still have to be buried six foot down, don't they? No idea. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, sorry, Alice. Nearly stepped on you. Can you read that? It's not that old. I wonder if this one's newy. Born Palmy, Italy, passed away Harvey Bay. Oh. Oh, a lot of children. Oh my goodness me. 
so walking along here and showing you guys these it does look like a historic cemetery however maybe it's we pardon there's two people in there there's three numbers yeah however all these all these grave sites are like in the 50s the 60s the 70s in the 1900s I'm yeah no it's not over here this section over here is a huge section for a certain I'm going to say race of people because and I'm not saying it disrespectfully because it, it is a, it's not a religion I don't think over here I'll just show you this memorial was erected by the Hungarian Friendship Club of Fraser Coast this is the final resting place of many of our members Dear friends, rest in peace, you will always be remembered in our hearts. So a lot of these people do have um, foreign names. And I'm presuming that these are Hungarian people. We've got one here though, Thomas O'Hagan, died 6th of July 1887, aged 41 years. So scattered throughout, there is older graves, isn't there? Yeah. Very, You've just got to find them. Very, yeah. So I'm thinking all these people, most of these are Hungarian, John. With the names. And the, the fanciness of their grave sites. But here's another few older ones up there. We think they're older ones. David Goff died 13th of the 9th, 1925. So it's still not old, old. 1947 and 1929 where are you looking okay John's just spotted another one look at this fancy one with the boulder no headstone John oh can you read it it says daughter Hmm. Age 18 years, maybe? 19. I actually can't read that. Nineteen oh five. No, nineteen oh five was Niels, and nineteen fifty two was Mari. And this one here, I can't read the top. The surname's Christensen, and the bottom one's nineteen thirty two, but I can't read that one either. New headstone. See this one here? Brand new headstone. 10th of the 9th, 1913, aged 25 years. Then this one here, another 1930, 13, who fell asleep at Play Alba, August 18, 1913, in her third, third year? No, 73rd year. And Augustus was 1928, 81 years. 1861. Oh, Joseph. Look how fancy this is. Born 27th of December 1861 and died 29th of December 1938. Big lawn cemetery here. I don't know if you can see that. See over here? This John. And it says to the memory of all South Sea Islanders brought to Queensland as conscript labourers to work in cotton and sugar cane fields, 1863 to 1906. May their toil be not forgotten. And there's just a plaque with all their names here and all the different islands. A total of 26 graves. 
South Sea Islander graves. So there's a massive lawn cemetery up there. There's some unmarked graves down here. Must be old because it's number three. Two. Is that like the second person that was buried here? I don't know. How unusual is this? Who? I'll just show these. Oh look, accidentally killed. Look at this one, John. The shape of it. In loving memory of Jeffrey Lloyd Lowry, accidentally killed November 5th, 1961, aged 18 years. His memory is a keepsake. Tis like a thread of gold. Never will it tarnish nor grow the least bit old. And then this one. Did you see that? Yep. Is there a headstone or something? Oh, you can't read it. Oh, same surname as that one behind. I thought it might have been. Kenneth James Lowry. Accidentally killed and sadly missed. 1945. So this one was accidentally killed and so was this one. You've got another one. Burned to death. Burned to death. Which one? Loving memory of Frank Thompson, native of goodness me, New Ma something, New something New Zealand, accidentally burned to death. I can't see because the sun's there. 1921, I, I'm not really sure. A couple of beers for Mark. In loving memory of Mary, beloved daughter of K.M. Clarkson. Who died April the 5th, 1917, aged six months old, an angel at the throne of God. Oh, can you see that? It's actually a little teddy bear. Just gone old and mouldy over time. In loving memory of Sarah Jane, beloved wife of John McLiver, died 12th of September 1913, aged 61. Also their sons, Robert Dunlop, aged, uh, died 21st of July 1913, aged 28. Private David C.C. C. McLiver, 27th Battalion, died in the Adelaide Hospital, 23rd of August 1915, aged 20 years. Also John McLiver, died 17th of February 1929, aged 83 years. In loving memory of George Smith, late of Montrose, Scotland, who died 28th of December 1912, age 84. Just there behind, uh, here. I just read that one out, but this one in front's in loving memory of Mary Elizabeth McLiver, beloved wife and mother of Alan Graham and Daphne Merle McLiver. Died at 28th of September 1924, age 37 years, at rest. Also, Alan Graham McLiver died 12th of March 1926. So, obviously, all the same family here. I actually believe we've walked up this one. Mucked that up, haven't I? So, that was Polson Cemetery in Point Vernon, Harvey Bay. Wasn't as old as what we hoped, but, you know, a few things there. Yeah, um, yeah but thanks for joining us for another episode of Historic Cemeteries Australia. We'll see you next time. Watching.